Cowboy Coach House again, and today, guys, I'm here to do another anime review. And the main review is to Blue Exit Season 2, Episode 5, guys. So, guys, before we go into it, again, sorry, late again. Like you guys should know, I, I, pr I bring out my reviews quite late, but yeah, I did, I do make sure I do my videos quite randomly, so do, do expect this quite often. But yeah, sorry this is late. Also, so Curry No Revenge, I think I'm just gonna skip reviewing that. Now, even though I'm still watching the anime, I feel like, meh, I'm not gonna review it anymore. Uh, but anyway, with Blue Exorcist, I wanted to keep on reviewing, so... Anyway, let's re get the review of Blue Exorcist Season 2, Episode 5. So guys, in this episode, uh, in this episode, we find out that, uh, after the, ca after the, after that, the traitor, the one, the sister, one, the sisters, Muji, I think her name is, might be wrong about that, but she, after, the, and Toto stole the right eye, you, we find out that, um, the, re the, the soft, soft power that, uh, occurs when, uh, when the two eyes come together. We found that they actually fuse together into a ticket one big eye, and of course it causes some form of calamity. I don't think it fully tells us what the calamity is, but it does form, like, it fuses together to make this calm big calamity that will happen. And also another thing that's uh, happened in this episode uh, is that, um, they f Ren, as we guys know, Ren, he flared up, so that means after everything was sorted out, uh, uh, we found out that it means, of course, he got locked up in a cell that was in the family, in the Rigi family. They end up putting him in, in a cell um, for, you know, deterrication and everything because he has got found out he's the born of Satan. Everybody was shocked, blah, blah, blah. We all know it's going to happen and stuff. So, you know, it's going to happen. So, yeah, we all know it's that. Um, before that, um, Bond's father, um, the Bond's father gave, uh, I think her name, well, you know, um, yeah, I've got a name, you guys, you guys know, I'm not very good at names, but yeah, Bond's father gave pretty much, uh, Snake Sword Girl, uh, her, um, a letter, and we found out this, and once we got, once, um, um, Yuki came back, um, he got, him, Snake Girl, Snake Sword Girl, um, got to, uh, gone down to the cell where Rain was kept, um, and they found, and she gave the letter to Ren to him to read, but we found out, um, he, Ren, went out, for the, um, Bond's father, what new stone the encryption code to, um, way of writing, so, both Ren and Snake Girl can, Snake Soul Girl can read it, because of that, um, Yukio, who can actually read, um, stuff like that, um, was given the letter so he can read it out to Ren, and we all, we found out that, um, um, uh, first of all, from the female, Cedar Wong did get right that the Coma Sword originally did belong to the Rigi family, which we only, I only knew from Season 1, but I thought that was going to be out of the original, but we found out that was, that, that little bit was actually true, so that means he must have got that information, that means the company, that means A1 Pictures must have got the, that information from the writer's stuff that they were planning on making the Coma Sword religious belong to the Rigi family. Which is something good, at least that they kept that. Which I kind of found that interesting. That um, how and I was wondering how Father Fujimoto end up getting the sword, and we found out during a uh, looks like he was searching for the sword. It looks like um, uh, Father Fujimoto was looking for the sword. He was looking for the sword to get after finding out to take it because of some uh, when Rin and, and Rin and Yuki were born. He was finding the sword to of course seal. Rin's powers within the sword. As to, as, I take it that's what he came to, why he's and why he came to look for the coma sword. Because, what, because in the past, um, this is how they, this is how Father Fujimoto and Bond's father meet. This is how they meet. Um, they end up meeting during a, because uh, during the time, um, Bond's father, uh, uh, his, his wife, Bond's mother, I take it, were, um, uh, consumed but got, uh, pretty much, got the virus of the right eye in them, so she was dying while pregnant with his child, which I take it as Bon. I think it's Bon, I might be wrong, but pretty much Bon, pretty much, um, Bon's mother was, I think it's Bon's mother, uh, it could be another woman, it could be a different woman, but it, it's a strong possibility that this is his mother, but she got affected by the virus of the right eye, so she was dying while she was pretty much 
ill in bed with the full, her stuff with her baby, which I think is born inside of her still. So and Bond's father was very was worrying as hell, was worrying, trying to keep it uh, calm and everything. And pretty much after he spent his time with his wife, he went his father, his father, Bond's grandfather, called him up to, for pretty much to tell him to do better, to pretty much to do better. And he told him to do your duties to guard the secret flame with the coma sword. And while he was doing his work, pretty much his praying just with the secret fire that seems to be there, um, Father Ritual came down, defeating the demons, and pretty much telling us to go about to take the coma sword. Now, so I've got to say this, um, this I'm actually glad they're going into, because season one, they don't, they didn't really tell us how Father Fujimojo got the sword, like, but I'm glad season one told us, that made it a lot easier to accept in season two, that the sword originally did belong to the Fuji family, because it did tell us in season one, even though the rest of last bit of season one and when it got mentioned that it was originally like uh, owned by the Ruji family um but we found out that um um it was the common sword which really belonged to them but as it was in the point where it was only original i was skeptical that maybe this sword was not did not belong to them to begin with from the main series but we found out it did so season one did tell us some bits that was going to happen in season two in some form of degree and we found out, of course, the Kama Sword actually belonged to the Ricci family. And and that's one thing I was like, I was a bit annoyed that season one did not do. That tell us how Father Fujimoto got the sword. How did he get the sword? Like, did he got get, did he, did he get, did Father, um, did, uh, did, uh, Ricci, did Barnes father give it to him? Uh, did he give it to him or did he stole it or what? I was wondering how did he get the Kama Sword? Like, I was wondering about that. And I'm glad it, this this episode and I think next episode is going to tell us how did he get it, why did he get it, and also what uh, what it was used for. And I'm glad it told us this because it's going to mean we now know how Father Future ended up getting the sword and how Barn's father um, accepted him for taking it, or maybe did not know if he took it. Could <laughs> don't know, but pretty much um, I'm glad they got this thing, and that's really all that's happened. Pretty much just people's reaction to Rin, the seeing people's rea their reaction of Rin being the storm Satan, pretty much also people being, uh, or found out the, um, how, found out that the sword originally did belong to the Ruji family, and it's being concluded as canon, so that is good. And also it's being, also pretty much find out the, um, what would happen if both eyes of, um, left and right, I, or the, um, both, like, rest, left, uh, left and right eyes. When they ha what happens when they come together is that they fuse together into one giant somewhat eye. So, into one eye, which caused calamities pretty much. And, yeah, and that's all really happened. Animation, like I said, there's no fight scenes or any flaring, proper flaring up that happened in this episode. But pretty much, it was like decent, like normal. Like, you know what animation you expect, the art looked good, and that's all really got to say. There's not really much that was fully going on, but we ended up getting some, like, very key, very crucial things that did happen and yeah that's all that really happened anyway guys that's my hour review to blue exist season 2 episode 5 hope you guys are getting the contract fan stay if you guys want something else go in the description down below my address there and yeah hope you guys are getting comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye guys